Okay. This is an analysis video of game played between Martin and Stockfish 16. Stockfish opens with the classic E4, establishing control over the center and setting the stage for an exciting game. In response, Martin plays E5, choosing the Scandinavian defense to challenge Stockfish's central pawn. Stockfish captures with pawn, opening up the center for further play. Martin recaptures with queen d5, placing the queen in the center. A bold choice, but it exposes the queen early. Stockfish develops the knight with knight c3, attacking Martin's queen and eyeing the e4 square. However, Martin's queen e3 is an inaccuracy, missing a better move for the queen's safety. Stockfish plays bishop e2 to block the check from Martin's queen, securing a strong position. Martin's knight c6 is an inaccuracy, shifting the game's balance towards Stockfish's favor. Stockfish follows up with the strong d4, threatening to win a knight through a fork. Unfortunately for Martin, king a5 is a mistake, worsening their position. Stockfish comes in with knight b5, threatening to win the queen through a fork. Martin's h5 move is a mistake, allowing Stockfish to win a queen through a fork. Stockfish plays knight c7, executing a powerful fork and winning a queen. Martin responds with king d8, evading the check from Stockfish's knight. Stockfish seizes a vulnerable queen with knight e6, a straightforward recapture for Stockfish with b a hop e6. Stockfish plays d5, another strong move, threatening to win a bishop and paving the way for an eventual checkmate. Martin's rook c8 is an inaccuracy, allowing Stockfish to force an eventual checkmate. Stockfish plays pawn e6, capturing a vulnerable bishop and setting up the potential for checkmate. Martin plays king c7, attempting to escape threats. Stockfish follows up with queen d7, continuing the path towards checkmate. Martin's king b6 puts pressure on a pawn and maintains the attack. Stockfish plays king b5, keeping the checkmate attack alive. Martin steps away from the checking queen with king c7. Stockfish plays bishop e2 to maintain the pressure on Martin. Martin plays king d8, exposing an attack and threatening a pawn. And there it is, the final move, rook d1, delivering a beautiful checkmate. Thanks for tuning in to this exciting chess match between Stockfish 16 and yours truly, Martin. I hope you've enjoyed the game and learned a thing or two along the way. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts. What was your favorite moment from this match? Did you see any brilliant moves that stood out to you? Or do you have any questions about the game or chess strategies in general? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I can't wait to engage with your insights and queries. Stay tuned for more thrilling chess content, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for future updates. Until then, keep playing, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next game. Goodbye.